Welcome to the Highway Oversize Overweight Credentialing System, also known as Hooks, User Tutorial Videos. This video will guide you through ordering a new divisible load permit in Hooks at hooks.dot.ny.gov. Customers can access Hooks through the One Stop Credentialing and Registration, also known as OSCAR, at www.oscar.ny.gov. If you need to renew a div load permit, there is a separate video for renewing permits. This and other tutorial videos can be found by clicking the Help button at the top right of the company dashboard and throughout other pages of the application and on the landing page once the Logout button is clicked. Customers needing a new divisible load permit can order one using the new Hooks system. This video is specifically for customers needing a new div load permit. There is a separate tutorial video located by clicking the Help button at the top of the screens entitled Renewing a Div Load Permit. Once logged into the company dashboard, click the New Permit link. Select the I need a NISDOT Div Load Permit from the options displayed. On the Order Permits screen, be sure to change the contact name from Oscar to your name and update all contact information, including the phone number and email address. Select a delivery method from the Primary Delivery Method drop-down list. The options are Email, Web Download, and Fax. Web Download will allow users to retrieve the permit PDF directly from the company dashboard. Select the Permit Class. Permit Class types are the standard Div Load Permit, Sani Van, which is only available for single-unit garbage trucks with rear compaction, or Agricultural, which is only available for types 1, 1A, and 7. If choosing the agricultural type, the registrant of the vehicle must produce and transport their goods for human consumption and they are issued for four months only. Enter in the requested weight and select the permit types needed. Be sure to request the maximum weight for the permit types selected. Statewide and downstate permits can all be ordered on the same application for the same VIN as long as all requirements are met for downstate rights and there is available weight. If banked weight is not available, the downstate permit section will be grayed out. Users can view the permit types and fees by clicking the Click Here to View Permit Types and Fees link. This will display a PDF for the types of divisible load overweight permits axle counts, fees, and other pertinent information. Select a start date from the pop-up calendar in the From field. The start date must be today's date or later. The end date will automatically populate to one year from the start date. Clicking the Next button will display the Vehicle and Load Information screen. The Vehicle and Load Information screen is where all vehicle information, axle entries, and additional configurations can be entered. Enter the power unit information by selecting a vehicle from the Vehicle Inventory drop-down list or enter the required information into the fields for Configuration 1. Enter the Trailer link and click the Add Trailer button if there will be a trailer for this configuration. You can add and enter as many trailers as needed for each configuration by clicking the Add Trailer button. Verify the length entered is correct in feet and inches. Trailers can be removed by clicking the red X icon to the left of the trailer information. If there is not a trailer, select the No Trailers checkbox. Enter the combined GVWR in the text field. The combined GVWR should be the total registered weight of the tractor and the trailer. Otherwise, the permit will be issued for a lower weight than requested. Select the Permit Type checkbox for each permit type that will be ordered as part of this configuration. To add your loaded weights, click the Enter Axles button. All axles for the tractor and trailer must be entered. Check the corresponding On Tractor checkboxes for all axles that are on the tractor and leave the trailer checkboxes blank. If there is no trailer, all On Tractor checkboxes must be selected for each axle. Enter the spacing between each axle. This can be done in feet and inches or just inches. Enter the manufactured axle rating for each axle. Verify the number of tires and enter the sum of the manufactured tire ratings per axle in the corresponding fields. 
If the sum of the manufactured tire rating for one tire is 8,000 pounds, then two tires would be 16,000 pounds, or four tires would be 32,000 pounds. For the tire count, two tires must be trackable. If there is a lift axle, both boxes must be checked. Verify the number of tires, lift axle, and steer trackable axle boxes are correct for the unit being permitted. Click the Validate Weights and Close button to validate the axle entries. If the Validate Weights and Close button is not clicked, the axle entries will be cleared and need to be re-entered. If there is an issue with any axles entered, Hooks will alert you with a message. You will then be able to correct any errors. Once the axle information has been validated, hover over the Permit Type hyperlink to display and verify the permitted GVW and the maximum allowed weight for each axle group. Please note that the GVWR, trailer link if there are trailers, and axle entry will be the same for all trailers in this configuration. Repeat this process for any additional configurations entered. If additional configurations are needed, click the Add New Configuration button. This will allow you to enter a new configuration for your vehicle and trailer combination and order other permit types that are needed. For other permit types to be available, you had to have selected them on the first screen of the application. Enter the new configuration information including combined GVWR. Even if there are no trailers on Configuration 1, trailers can be added to additional configurations by clicking the Add Trailer button and entering the axles for the trailer. Be sure to enter the axle information for the additional configuration if trailers are added. Please note that the power unit information, including axles, must remain the same for all configurations. For each configuration, hover over the Permit Type hyperlink for Permit Types selected to confirm your permitted weight. Configurations can be added by clicking the Add New Configuration button or removed by clicking the yellow Delete button as needed. Verify the fees at the top of the screen above the first configuration. The fees are broken down into the base fee, permit type fees, trailer fees, and then the total permit fees. Explanation of fees can be found on the first screen of the application by clicking the Click Here to View Permit Types and Fees link. Once all configurations have been entered and all vehicle information, permitted weight, and fees are verified, click the Next button to proceed with the application process. If there are errors on the screen, the system will alert users as to what needs to be corrected. There are some common error messages that are displayed. When permit types are not selected, a message will be displayed alerting users that no permit types were selected. Certain configurations with a trailer length over 53 feet will also display a message for exceeding permit type length. The VIN validation message will alert users to click the OK or Cancel button to change and edit the VIN entered. The Type 9 Attest Statement message will also be displayed. Please be sure to read the message for Type 9 permits and vehicles that are year 2006 and newer about the lift axle air pressure controls. Click the OK button once you have read the message. This will bring users to the Special Items page. A valid vehicle registration or cab card must be uploaded for a new permit. The permit will be delayed or denied without this information being uploaded. To upload the required document, click the link to open a new window. Click the Browse button to locate the file on your computer and upload the document. Click the Next button. The Permit Fee Summary screen is where all information, including the vehicle information, dimensions, and fees should be verified a second time. Attest that you have read and understand all the legal requirements for ordering a permit within Hooks by clicking the associated checkbox. The permit will not be able to be submitted or issued unless users have read and checked the attest box statement. Verify the fees listed are correct. Verify the order review information which includes the permit type, start and end dates, all configurations, and vehicle information entered on the previous screen. If there are any errors, click the back button at the bottom of the page to go back and correct the entries.
Click the Submit button to submit the permit. Since the permit was enqueued for further processing, the permit will be listed on the company dashboard with a pending status. Click the Select link and then the View Permit link to display the permit details. Click the Notes tab to view any notes associated with the permit. Once the permit is approved by the Permit Office, the permit will now be located in the shopping cart. Click the Shopping Cart link or button to access the shopping cart. Once on the Permits Ready for Payment and or Printing screen, check the Pay checkbox next to the Permit for Purchase. The Order Total section will display the purchase price. Click the Pay Now button to begin the purchase. This will display the Pay for Permits screen. Verify the permits listed for payment or those that were selected for purchase. Click the Pay for Verified Permits button to continue the payment process or click the Cancel button to return to the company dashboard. The payment information screen will be displayed. Select the payment method from the drop-down list and click the Submit button. If escrow is selected, the payment will be immediately processed. If credit card is selected, you will be redirected from Hooks to the credit card processor site. Please note that while a credit card payment is processing, do not use the forward or back buttons on your browser. Once the payment is complete, the confirmation page will allow you to click the Return to Dashboard link to return to Hooks. If paying by escrow, the Issued Permit screen will be displayed listing the issued permit numbers as a hyperlink to the permit PDF that can be printed or emailed as needed. If you previously selected your delivery method as fax or email, the permits will also be sent at this time. Click the Permit Number hyperlink to view the PDF. The permit will now be listed on the company dashboard once paid for and issued. Clicking on the Permit Number hyperlink will open the permit PDF for you to save or print. This concludes the Hooks user tutorial video on how to order a new divisible load permit. Thanks for watching and don't forget more videos are available for your convenience.